delving into this subject, antinatalism, I've come across something that uh, I can only describe as deliberate masochistic misreading of certain pessimist philosophers. I think that a lot of people have got a skewed idea as to what pessimistic philosophy is. Pessimistic philosophy isn't saying life sucks. Pessimist philosophy is merely saying that the phenomenal universe might not have everything that there is to offer to us as uh, humans. Um, there may be other things. You can't phenomenally find something called love. Love only exists in here. You can't find things like happiness, exhilaration, um, a feeling of uh, oneness with everything, a feeling of solidarity with one's fellow beings, a feeling of joy simply at existing. These things do not phenomenally exist. Uh, the pessimists are simply saying you've got to look elsewhere for those other than out there in the world. That's not the same thing as life sucks. They, they, what they're essentially saying is to see everything, all that there is for each of us to experience or to see or to encompass in the totality of who we are, we have to look other uh, elsewhere than the physical universe. Now, I think that most of us agree with that, but um, when we use the word pessimism in conjunction with people like Schopenhauer, um, especially given the fact that he's an antinatalist, you get something of a toxic in, uh, intersection of misconceptions. Um, Schopenhauer, if people actually took the time to study what he was saying, might have been pessimistic again about the phenomenal world, but he was not pessimistic about reality itself. Um, he might have uh, been dismissive, I suppose, of uh, the things that one can sensually en enjoy. But then again, that's, that is as old as the hills. Um, don't seek your kingdom here on earth, seek your kingdom in heaven, is what Jesus said. And that's the same thing. Um, uh, the Buddha said the universe is an illusion, and that's the same thing as well. It's, uh, it holds out all these wonderful things that it doesn't really deliver on at least in the way that we think that it does. Uh, if we see another human being out there and we want to possess that other human being and get pleasure off that human being, after a while the pleasure uh, wears out and you become jaded and you become rather cynical. But if you have actual love for that individual, that's quite different than sensory attraction to that other person. It's not the same thing. I think most of us who love other people, especially our spouses, expect sensory uh, uh, enjoyment in conjunction with that person. But the love itself goes beyond the senses. It's not something phenomenal. Um, you, a lot of people might cynically say that, oh, well, my love is only um, based on a biological imperative to look after children, to look after my parents, to look after those whom I like. But the feeling itself is real and undeniable. And that feeling is something that cannot be found phenomenally. It can't be found in the physical universe. Meaning comes from elsewhere. And one thing that I do caution people on... Uh, uh, when they reach for Schopenhauer for um, justification for a negative um, view of life in this world, um, you might want to consider the, uh, his relationship um, with things like the noumenon, the thing in itself, or um, his concept of the will, which is markedly similar to concepts in Eastern philosophy that may be world negating, but they're certainly not soul or existence negating. Um, again, this doesn't actually debunk any antinatalist arguments, but what it does do is it points out to some depressive people or potential depressive people that they may have an imbalanced view of pessimistic philosophy. Pessimism gets a bad name, <laughs> oddly enough. Um, and it carries some of that baggage into uh, phys philosophical discourse. Sorry. Um, be careful 
about pessimistic philosophies, um, or rather philosophical pessimism, because you've got to be aware of what it's actually being pessimistic about. Would it surprise you that uh, I am a philosophical pessimist? Hmm. Thank you.